I was at the Royal Albert Hall. I'm a big fan of opera. Yes, Do you me, love me opera? Me too, I love opera. I think it's a great occasion to dress up. Why not? I mean, there's so few things that we get to do or go to. I think in those kind of occasions, you can never be overdressed. Um, you could definitely be underdressed. And um, I think it's, again, when you when you get dressed, it's about how you feel. You feel great. I mean, you're going out. It's a special occasion. So it's celebratory. Um, celebrate, you know, whatever that means to you. Put on a tie or not. Wear a jacket. Uh, wear a suit, wear a tuxedo if that's what you feel like, a smoking, if that's what you feel like in a dinner suit. Um, I think it's one of the few occasions we actually have a chance to pull something out of our closet and, and dress up and feel great about it. It's not for a wedding, it's not for, it's to go out and have entertainment and to have a night for yourself, whether it's with friends or relatives or your mom in town, um, enjoy it and, and go out for a nice dinner, get dressed up, make an evening of it. I don't think there's really a rule anymore. I mean, certainly, you know, I, I do love the opera and I go to the opera and theater, whether it's here or in New York, and um, you find everything. That's what I sort of love about that, too, because it's quite democratic. So you can find trainers and, and jeans and you can find, you know, people in, in black tie and in dinner suits. Um, so I don't think anymore there's a rule. I would say traditionally people did dress very much to go to theater and to opera. Our lifestyles have changed and, you know, sometimes people will be just running in from shopping all day in London and just happen to be in town and want to catch a show and don't have time to change but if you can I think I would err on the side of dressing up rather than dressing down and I would embrace the fact that it's a one of the few occasions we can actually do that and have a good time with it what should an opera singing especially an up-and-coming one where right. he's on stage where he can he's allowed to wear the suit or whatever no I think I think you know it's people are looking to him obviously you think about how you're gonna look on stage to a lot of people so it might not be it might be something that looks different up close right so you have to keep in mind um, that I think cut and silhouettes very important because people are seeing you from a distance so you know keeping in mind like the shape of the shoulder the shape of the waist of the jacket your trouser length your detailing um, I think is very very key and also maybe you're being photographed so fabrics that are maybe good with light or not ref too reflective or not strange colors or small micro patterns that are shiny which tend to strobe um, I think that it's, I think that, it, that I love to see young talent dressed up. It's elegant and you look great. And it's also quite commanding. I think you get on stage and you're you know, impeccably dressed in a beautiful dinner jacket or suit. Um, there's a sense of authority and seriousness to what you're doing. And I think that maybe um, that you can interpret that again in your own personal style. Maybe you want to wear it with an open shirt, not a tie. But there's something that looks great when you, see, you go and you see a young professional musician, opera singer. I have a friend who's actually a female concert pianist uh, who performs all over the world. It's very well known, and she always dresses. And actually, she usually wears men's tailoring, uh, which is quite interesting. And we're at the moment making a bespoke suit for her. So she's come to us for a bespoke. Uh, but it looks great. I mean, it looks really really great on stage I think that you know at the end of the day these people are still performers um, and they're artists but it's in especially in the classical realm there is a little bit maybe more of a rule um, and I think it holds appropriate you know versus maybe a rock star who might have a slightly different audience or way of expressing themselves I love Royal Opera House and I would say um, one of my first experiences to you know to your audience now I'm now living in London I have a job here and I'm able to actually go and buy great tickets and you know it is an investment tickets to the Royal Opera House are expensive but that being said there's some of the finest performances and performers in the world and the production values are incredible my first time at Royal Opera House I was a student on an exchange program in London and I queued in line to get a standing only seat to see Strauss's Capriccio and with Carrie Takanawa and it was the, my first experience at the Royal Opera House so you can get it at that point I think the tickets were five or ten pounds I think you can get a standing ticket now for 25 pounds. It's wonderful and I think opera is something that is accessible and it, even if you don't understand it, the music, the sets, the staging is beautiful and it's an experience. I think it's, we've seen a lot more youth become well known in the classical sector earlier through talent and a lot we're working now as I said with some professional musicians who are under 30 and uh, have great style both men and female and great style and a very modern way of interpreting uh, elegant dress. You said you're a fan of opera just to finish it off what's your favorite? Oh that's tough it's like asking your favorite ice cream right uh, I, I love all opera I recently went to uh, a very interesting lecture that Intelligence Square did at 
the Royal Opera House, which was Wagner versus Verdi. So our two masters of opera and sort of the different merits of the music and the composition and is, you know, who was better, who was stronger, who was more influential on opera? Was it Wagner or Verdi? So um, I couldn't give you a particular opera and I could say that I left leaving that lecture feeling how I did going into it to say that I appreciated both Wagner and Verdi for different reasons, but I would say that probably both of them are my two favorite composers for opera. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.